Gilead's a, a, a very scientific company. It focuses on science, it focuses on data. We like to do things that will really improve patients' lives, not just a little bit, but a lot. So we're, we're not really interested in incremental steps forward. We want to make large leaps forward as we have for hepatitis C. One of the next frontiers for hepatitis C is looking at the idea of elimination. And there are many pilot projects, many of which Gilead is sponsoring, that are looking at the concept of elimination either within small populations such as drug users, within the prison system for example, or even within entire countries such as Iceland or Georgia. These projects are very exciting and can demonstrate proof of concept for a principle that could be applied more broadly to change the face of hepatitis C as a global health problem. Treatment for hepatitis C has evolved dramatically over the last five years, but really there still are some unmet medical needs for hepatitis C patients. For example, patients who have failed direct-acting antiviral regimens, those patients don't have current treatment options. So that's an unmet medical need that we're trying to address as we continue to move our scientific and clinical programs forward. Whilst we've uh, been successful developing highly effective regimens for hepatitis C. We're actually even more excited about what we're doing in hepatitis B and, and fatty liver disease. We have a huge opportunity and we're very excited about what we can potentially do now and what we want to do in those other liver diseases after hepatitis C. Recent estimates suggest worldwide there's approximately 240 million people chronically infected with hepatitis B virus and of those approximately 7 to 800,000 people die each year from HBV associated diseases such as cirrhosis or liver cancer. Now while the current antiviral therapies are effectively effective at reducing the virus, they don't lead to functional cure in the vast majority of patients. Therefore the goal of the, the new wave of therapies that we're developing is to lead to functional cure of these patients, which will be defined by S-antigen loss and S-antigen seroconversion. Challenging aspect of working on chronic hepatitis B is there's no clinical proof of concepts in terms of achieving functional cure. Therefore, Gilead's approach is to uh, work on a wide variety of different targets with the expectation that those agents may have single agent activity, but also in combinations as well. And so we're diligently working through these in preclinical and then potentially in the clinical setting as well to put these agents together. I've worked at Gilead for over a decade and, and seen our commitment to liver disease and particular viral infections like HBV and HCV. Uh, now we're trying to address uh, in-stage liver disease as it relates to fibrosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. The prevalence of NASH is increasing uh, worldwide. Um, NASH is a consequence of metabolic uh, disease, uh, which is a consequence of obesity. And it takes many years for NASH to uh, develop and to progress to symptoms and cirrhosis. So the majority of patients that are diagnosed are being diagnosed with later stage uh, disease with advanced fibrosis or cirrhosis. Because the etiology of NASH is multifactorial, involving lipotoxicity, inflammation, alterations in cell signaling, and fibrosis, it's unlikely that any one medication can address all of the underlying causes of NASH. So we think that in the future, combination therapy will really be what's uh, important. We're very interested in understanding the effects of modulating pathways, uh, the interconnected pathways that are involved in in-stage liver disease, including NASH. Uh, for example, the metabolic uh, underlying uh, effects, as well as the processes of signaling and fibrogenesis. One of the primary challenges with NASH is uh, diagnosis. Currently, it can only be diagnosed invasively through a liver biopsy. So we have partnered with uh, multiple external collaborators, uh, academics, research institutions, businesses to work on uh, non-invasive tests for the diagnosis and monitoring of NASH. Gilead's had a 20 plus year relationship with the liver disease community, with the societies, with AASLD. And we've always had this philosophy that we can't do everything our 
best ourselves internally. So we must collaborate with the experts, the academics, the societies. And that's been an extraordinarily fantastic and successful relationship and we'll keep doing that.